What's going on, Genius Nation? It's your man, Dr. Will, and you guys know the deal. Let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. Even if you're watching this on the replay, let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. I'm here in the beautiful city of Phoenix, Arizona, where God vacations. So wherever you are in the world, let me know what city, what state, what country you are chiming in from. If you're watching this on YouTube, let me know what city, what state, what country you're chiming in from. And don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to another wonderful day, guys, wherever you are in the world. I hope it is starting off to be a magical day for you. I want to talk to you about how big is your dream? For the last several days, we've been talking about maximizing our time, right? Maximizing our time. And I've been challenging you to take one 30 minute block. You get 48 of them in a day, in a 24 hour period, you get 48 blocks of 30 minutes. And I've been challenging you to take one of those blocks and do something meaningful that's going to push you forward. But I wanna ask you, how big are you dreaming? How big are you dreaming? Because here's the thing, dreaming, dreaming, the dreaming part is free. It doesn't cost you anything to dream. So you can dream as big as you want to dream. So don't cheat yourself when it comes to dreaming. Don't cheat yourself when it comes to dreaming. You can dream as big as you want. The world is wide open for you to dream. Now, here comes the, the tricky part. Are you willing to work for that dream? Are you willing to execute for that dream? This is what I've discovered over the last, you know, 25 years of dealing with high excelling individuals, um, high achieving individuals. One of the things that I've learned is number one, that they dream big. But the second thing is they bring massive energy to that dream. They bring massive energy to that dream. And so, number one, I want to encourage you to dream big. We live in a world of possibilities. We live in a world of possibilities where it's possible. Whatever you want to achieve, it's possible. But you got to be willing to execute. You got to be willing to bring the energy to that dream. Like I always tell my clients, your, your, your energy must match your expectations. Your energy, your energy must match your expectation. Have you ever went to go do something with a group of people and maybe one of the people inside the group, their energy just wasn't right? And so you may ask a question like, hey, what's going on? Is everything all right? Because you could be on your way to an exciting place, an exciting experience, but just one person's energy could bring it all the way down. You know that old adage where they say, one bad apple spoils the bunch. Have you ever really looked at that and examined that? Like the other day I was looking and um, have a little fruit basket in the kitchen. And I noticed that um, one of the, the fruits has started to rot. Has started to rot. And I pointed it out to my son because what would happen if he left it there that one rotten fruit, no matter how healthy, no matter how good those other fruits were, that one rotten fruit would begin to impact the other fruit. Imagine that. Think about that. Think, think about that. All the good fruit would not impact the bad fruit, but the bad fruit would impact the good fruit. I want you to think about, think about that. See, a lot of times we think that we can change people and, and, and we can motivate and inspire people to do different, be more and all that type of stuff, right? But guess what? One bad apple. You can invest all your time trying to change somebody. You invest all your time trying to change somebody. And at the end of the day, 
they don't change. And so you got to make sure your energy and you got to make sure all the energy, all the energy around you is good. At this level, if you want to achieve something big, you want to achieve something great, you got to make sure now all the energy. Think about a company. Think about a team. You're working with a team and and everybody in the team is motivated. And then you have that one negative Nancy. It just takes one negative Nancy. You know, we're here on social media and you can be sharing and you can be serving and everybody else can say, man, what a great job. Thank you for that information. And then one person, ah, that's stupid. Oh, that's dumb. And rather us gravitating to all the positive comments, we gravitate to the negative one. How often do we see that on social media? So you got to make sure that you guard your energy. You got to make sure you guard your energy if you're going to achieve your big dream. You know, um, you know, if, if you if you drive a, a particular type of car, um, once you start getting into high end cars, you got to put a higher grade of gasoline in that car. You got to put a higher grade of gasoline in that car. And I remember a couple of months ago, right, when um, the gas, the gas prices were going crazy. I can imagine some people were tempted, man, that unleaded, that regular, that regular unleaded. It's a lot cheaper than this premium plus right now. But guess what? If they would have put that regular gasoline in their high octane engine, in their high octane fuel tank, it would mess it up. How many of you are allowing negative gasoline to get inside of you? Low grade gasoline to get inside of you? Absolutely right, Leroy. You will ruin your engine. And that's how many of us are ruining our dreams because we're allowing low energy people to be around us. We're allowing doubting people to be around us. You know, I don't know if you've ever went skydiving and jumped out of a plane, but I promise you, you don't want nobody negative on the plane. You don't want nobody negative on the plane. Right. You getting ready to experience something like that. You don't want nobody on the plane. You don't want to be sitting next to somebody that's saying, oh, I hope I don't splatter on the ground. Oh, I hope my parachute. Opens up. You, you don't want nobody on the plane that has that type of attitude. And so depending on how big your dream is, guys, and I know the people that show up to the nation, I know you got some big audacious goals. I know you got some big dreams. And so my, my challenge for you right now is to guard your dream and to guard your energy. Man, I'm telling you, I keep saying this over and over. We're living at such an amazing time right now. It's such a sensitive time right now where your dream is going to be distracted, right? That you're going to have so many opportunities to be distracted, but you got to stay focused. You got to stay focused because here's, here's what I'm finding out and here's what I'm seeing. Everything is being accelerated, right? Everything, meaning everything is happening in a faster amount of time. So dreams that would have taken you maybe five to 10 years, I'm seeing people reach their dreams in a year, six months, right? Things that were taking a longer, everything is speeding up, guys. Everything is speeding up. And so we're in a magnificent time. Like you literally can accomplish major, major goals and dreams in a short amount of time, meaning that you can achieve even more goals and even more dreams. But you, you got to stay focused and you got to guard your dream and you got to guard your energy. I'm telling you. So how, how big are you dreaming? And make sure that your energy, that your energy that you bring in every single day, that your energy is matching your dream. All right, guys, have a fantastic day. As I always say, go out there and dominate, guys, and I'll see you 
Uh, this is Friday. Is this Friday? This is Friday. So I'll see you guys on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, do something fun. Do something spectacular. Hang around the ones that you love. Hug those people just a little bit uh, tighter this weekend. You never know, right? We we get reminders every single day how short life is. So remember to live the heck out of life. All right, guys, I'll see you on Monday.